guys, so as I speak to you just now, it is Independent Bookshop Week here in the UK, which, as the name implies, is a week all about celebrating and using your independently run bookshops. In honour of that, I wanted to share with you a little bit of a guided tour through the independent bookshops in Edinburgh, Scotland, which is, as I'm sure many of you know, my home city. Over the years I've lived here, there have been independent bookshops that have come and gone, and although it is a capital city, it's certainly not as large as somewhere like London. So I have four bookshops to talk to you about today, all of which have amazing selections of books and really individual character. So without further ado, Let's get into the bookshops. Let's start with Word Power Books. Now this bookshop is situated pretty much in the town centre. It is right next to the main Edinburgh University campus and is situated on West Nicholson Street. Of course I'll link all of the websites and addresses of these bookshops down below so that you can find them easily. Word Power has a bit of everything all across the board, children's, adults, poetry, non-fiction, fiction and everything in between. But it definitely has a massive focus on non-fiction so if you enjoy non-fiction you're going to find a massive and varied selection of books in this bookshop. And it's a very political bookshop as well as being incredibly active in celebrating independent bookshops in itself. It also hosts a variety of events on a regular basis as well as the Independent Radical Book Fair. This bookshop looks a lot smaller from the outside than it is on the inside. You go in and it seems as though it's sort of one little bookshop but then it's completely doubled on the other side if you just go through a little doorway and discover all the more books. The staff are incredibly friendly and helpful. They even host their own independent book publisher and publish a few titles here and there under the name of Word Power, which makes the books that hide within their walls all the more exciting. And not to forget, possibly the most important point for those of you who are visiting Word Power to know, which is that they have a shop dog. And really, let's all be honest, a shop dog or cat is what completes <laughs> an independent bookshop. It's not the books, really, is it? it? It's the pets. If you're ever in Edinburgh, I would highly recommend checking them out. And if you do manage to get to Word Power, then you'll be pleased to know that not too far away is my second independent bookshop, which is Trans Real Fiction, which is just off of Edinburgh's Grass Market on Candlemaker Row. Again, not too far from the city centre or the main Edinburgh University campus. This independent bookshop is definitely on the smaller side, but they've used every inch of space to their advantage. This little shop is bursting full of books, in particular fantasy and science fiction. If you are a lover of fantasy and science fiction and find yourself in Edinburgh, then you need to visit Transreal. They have the classics to the most recent publications in those genres. They have novels and graphic novels and even a little section dedicated to Scottish folklore if you're on holiday and interested in picking up a Scottish bookish souvenir. But if you call yourself a science fiction and fantasy nerd, then you will be letting the side down if you don't pay a visit to Transreal at some point if you're ever in Scotland or you live here. There may be a whole new fantasy world waiting for you to discover within their shelves. But still within walking distance, and I could say this for most of Edinburgh, it's a pretty walkable city, um, is Edinburgh Bookshop, although a little further away, definitely worth a wander up to Bruntsfield Morningside area to visit. You can find it situated on Bruntsfield Place. And this is an absolutely beautiful bookshop with absolutely lovely and interesting displays, hosting, again, poetry, fiction, non-fiction, and in particular, a massive selection of children's books. All the way from picture books to those of you who may be interested in something a little bit more teen oriented Of course, they have tons of adult books as well but you can definitely tell that it's a very inviting and happy place for children to go who love reading or who are ready to discover the love of reading. The walls are decorated with gorgeous murals of traditional children's book characters like Paddington Bear and Elmer the Elephant and not only that but the staff in the Edinburgh bookshop are so 
helpful, kind and good with children. They know everything about the books in their store and it's just such a warm and inviting space. In fact it's won many awards as an independent bookshop in Scotland and has been celebrated as an independent children's bookstore. So don't take my word for it, the experts agree the Edinburgh bookshop is well worth checking out. They divide up all of their books into really neat and niche sections so you can find a little bit of everything no matter what you're interested in. But lastly I have to mention golden hair books and I'm so sad to say I don't have any film footage of this bookshop because of memory card disasters. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm still grieving but maybe that will make it all the more lovely a surprise for you when you visit because this bookshop is specifically curated towards beautifully designed books. Everything has been specifically chosen to be in that bookshop carefully and with great consideration and there is an interesting and a diverse selection of beautiful designs and it's just a gorgeous bookshop to be in. It is just absolutely stunning and it reminds you of the importance of the illustrators and the book cover designers as well as the writers. This bookshop used to be located in Edinburgh's Grass Market so if you have been to Edinburgh in the past and come back and are confused to see that it's not there anymore. It did move its premises to the Stockbridge area in Edinburgh. You'll find it on St Stephen's Street and it's another bookshop with secret depth. It looks a lot smaller on the outside than it, than it is on the inside. If you continue back into the shop you will find yourself in an entirely separate room with even more books so even more to discover and an absolutely wonderful bookish shopping experience for those of you that are in Edinburgh at any point. So I hope you find this little guided tour of Edinburgh bookshops helpful. I have stuck to independent full price bookshops but if you'd ever like to hear me talk about second hand bookshops in Edinburgh then do let me know. I'm sure I can get around to doing another video when I get a chance but I hope you are all celebrating Independent Bookshop Week alongside me. If you check your local independent bookshop websites, they may even be hosting events in honour of this week in their bookshop this week. But if you can't get to an independent bookshop this week, then hopefully you do get a chance to in the near future. And maybe it will be one or more of the four I've mentioned today. Until next time guys, happy reading and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!